<laughs> I'm gonna put that in now. <laughs> oh, you're recording? Yeah. Welcome back, everybody. Here again with another movie review. This is my good buddy Dave. Stevie. This is my good buddy Stevie. Stevie. We just got done seeing Captain America: Civil Union. Union. I can't. Civil War. Oh, okay. Sorry, I can't take credit for that joke. That was uh, that was Matt's joke. Oh, missed it. My he, bad. he told me to say that. We got done seeing Captain America: Civil War. What'd you think? Great. Worth the watch. I'm getting ready to go back to the 11 o'clock showing in 20 minutes. So if we could wrap this thing up. So I brought Dave on today because I figured it'd be a, it, a Stevie. Stevie. I figured it'd be a good perspective Stevie. to get the side of somebody who really loves the Marvel Universe versus somebody that just doesn't so much. Who just enjoys movies in general, whether yeah, and the, and that's that spectrum or the other. Yeah, that's the thing about this. I was going in looking for a good movie. I wasn't going in looking for a good superhero movie which I think nowadays is what you can kind of go for with these movies. You can kind of hope to expect a good movie in general with some superhero aspects. To be really honest, I went in this with some pretty uh, positive expectations. Out of all the movies in the cinematic universe of Marvel, uh, I think there's really just a couple that I can really say I enjoy a lot. Captain America First Avenger. Captain America Winter Soldier. Well done. And the first Avengers, I guess. And, uh, nope. What do you mean, no? Where was what, the no? What it was wasn't, the wasn't for me. Wasn't for okay, me. what's not for you? What did you not Okay, like? let's talk about the positives real quick. Go ahead and talk about what you liked. I liked the introduction of <laughs> new characters. I mean, one, it's hard to normally to give the whole prequel story and all that. The way that they kind of built in all the characters into one story, they did pretty good job of kind of giving everybody their own time. Yeah, everyone got great time. It almost seemed like Avengers movie. Yeah. It really did. Yeah, I and could, yeah. The fight scene at the airport, <laughs> well done. Everyone had great time, great comments in there. I mean, everyone had their little quips and had their, their weaknesses also strengths, so that was fun to watch. I thought it was just gonna be one-sided with only maybe Iron Man and Captain America fighting it out, but everyone had a lot of time, fight time, and got beat up and also beat up other people, so that was great to see. I thought the fight scenes were probably some of the best parts of it. I thought they were well choreographed and well shot, not too much shaky cam, but the editing was kind of choppy in there. The way they introduced Spider-Man I thought was good. I, I do enjoy this Spider-Man. I think Tom Holland will be a good one. He's comical. He's good. comical, he's quippy, which Spider-Man Peter Parker is. That's what he is. Anything else you like before we start talking about what was not to like? I, mean, I just liked it all. I liked the build up in the story. It was, it did seem a little long, but it seemed like they were always going somewhere and the suspense kept going. And they kept the action going, which I liked. I I don't know what you didn't like about it. I thought it was a great movie. I okay. still enjoy probably every, okay, I can't say every, but all the recent Marvel movies they put out since, probably since Iron Man. I did like Martin Freeman's character. I'm not sure who it is, but. I think whenever whenever Martin Freeman popped up on the screen, you, your first thought was Bilbo. Problems. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't get him out of my head, but it looked like they tried to disguise it, tried to give him a little bit of a sideburns or aftershave. And yeah, make him look a little older and different. Now for what I what I didn't like so much. For one, I thought the story was well done, but the scripts and the humor. In these Marvel movies, not for me. Part of Marvel. I, I get it. That's why I don't like any of it. It's not my thing. Uh, it's, it's, it's hard to it's hard to dislike Marvel when fanboys just get so uptight about it. For everything that happened throughout this movie, nothing happened. They fought each other, but in the end, there were no consequences to anything. I mean, I seen somewhat read comics for Civil War and it's just an epic battle and so when I first saw they would do it I was excited yeah it's a Marvel movie especially Captain America Iron Man and they're both supposed to be good so when they turn each other you know it's definitely quite the story but in the comics you had 40 on 40 or 50 on 50 guys battling it out and Cloak has a scene which is a character they haven't even brought in yet you know they're all battling out and they tell he teleports them over the city and it just in the blink of an eye, all the flyers start capturing people on both sides that can't fly just to save everyone. As soon as they land, they start fighting again. So that was one thing, not that they didn't put that scene in there, not that they didn't, not that they did, but 
It's just that for Civil War, I wanted to see a lot more characters, so I kind of would have wished they would have waited until they had a 10 on 10, 12 on 12 type of action scene. Mm -hmm. Not that they didn't do great in this one. I thought it was phenomenal, the action scenes that they had, but I wanted to see more characters. This might be controversial. Um, it reminded me a lot of Batman vs Superman. A lot of... <laughs> A lot of build-up to a fight that didn't last too long. You've, I, I know this one wasn't in development for three years like Batman was. Didn't have that same three-year build-up. Was that it? Three years for that one? Yeah. To get everything together as far as when it was first announced, actors, to when it came and out, editing. Mm -hmm. Three years. And what I said when I, we talked about Batman vs Superman is you take that much time and you're just you setting yourself up to time. fail. In the end, I just, I, I thought there wasn't enough fighting between everybody. There was a lot of talking and a lot of build-up, which is not a bad thing, necessarily. I think with comics, though, everyone wants that epic battle scene. I think even I did. And then I started getting more back into comics and I realized how much of a build-up there is before the fight scene. It's just that they have superpowers or abilities that allow for more epic fight scenes and it's not just gun shooting. It's, it's flying around, it's using powers that Scarlet Witch does and Vision, and now they have these other characters that are more dynamic and more diversity as far as who's gonna fight who and who would outpower who. Along with that, the film just, it doesn't have balls, it doesn't have guts, it doesn't take any chances. It's just the same formula that they do in every single Marvel movie, and I, I just really can't see how people are not getting tired of it by now. I think another thing was, these movies take a lot of great actors and just with that script and that dialogue they're given they just make them horrible i think i think don Cheadle is awful in these movies i think uh jeremy renner he he's okay but i think he's better in other things chris evans i'm sorry but chris evans i've always thought is a pretty um stoic plank actor um, it's like one time. Scarlett Johansson's great in everything else. So yeah, it's hard to have a negative opinion about these movies, um, cause you will get a lot of hate. But when you see people, and this doesn't, this doesn't go for you guys. Okay. But when you see people coming out of the theater with Captain America garb, you, they're not gonna come out saying I didn't like this movie. Go ahead, You're say right, it. They're not. They're gonna appreciate it, cause they know <sighs> that it. It took them so long. I mean, how many try times have they tried to put these comic books into great movies? And now they're finally getting great actors together with great story. Okay, there might be some little holes here and there, but I mean, what movies don't? I mean, how many movies? They're just can you they're back they're at? too yeah. melodramatic for me, okay, and that's that's you know, one thing that we talk about in this this great world is everybody has their opinions. Uh, I think you were saying something about the dark tone of it. Yeah. Definitely darker tone with these phase three or phase four. I'm not sure where they're exactly at. Definitely a lot of deaths. And as far as the first one, you know, everyone was just saved and they would cut away. And this one, they actually show people lying there, lifeless. Dead people. Which I'm not trying to say, you know, good for dead people, but <laughs> when you do have people with such great powers, and especially when you get so many of them together, it's gonna happen. It, it is gonna happen. So I think that was a real aspect they brought in. So which I think I think a lot of people had problems with Batman vs Superman because it was too dark. So I think you just kind of have to find that mix of darkness with humor, which you know everybody loves about Marvel because they do it so well to them. They do a great job. I mean, one scene they're fighting, and next scene Spider-Man throws up a quick quip, and you just chuckle and laugh, and then two seconds later they're back in action. So it's really fun to go back and forth between action, your eyes going all over the screen, focus on who's who and who's on what side, really. Mm -hmm. And then another joke comes flying in and you still can enjoy it for the joke and the action. Did you agree? Can you no, I, I can, I, I, no, no, definitely. I can agree that that definitely makes it better. I just am not a fan of the way Marvel does it. Just, yeah, which, which is, you know, I can, but I can see where people enjoy it. It's just my own preference. I was enjoying it up until a point and it just went downhill. Can't wait to rewatch Batman vs Superman now. You're gonna rewatch that one? I'd rather watch that one. <laughs> Good. We're now in this. <laughs> Civil War now. It's on it. <laughs> well, I think we've rambled on long enough. You loved it. Loved it. Two thumbs up. I'm gonna go see it probably at least three times.
Oh, God. Would you see it again? No. After you let it marinate? Um, Maybe you have to see the well, Easter eggs, let, get a little more of the story? Right now, right now I'd be fine with one viewing, mm. but I never know how I feel when I let it marinate. I'm getting it. I, I figure you probably get the steel, steel book. book from Best Buy. <laughs> oh, yeah. Gonna reserve it, get it on Tuesday. Probably won't come out until August. I'm gonna guess August. Thank you, Dave, for coming on here and giving your. your Stevie! Si <laughs> Stevie! <laughs> Thank you, Stevie, for coming on here giving your side of this. You're welcome, buddy. Thanks for having me. Sure. Sorry to disappoint you. Hopefully, our friendship's still intact. Yeah, a little tarnished, but we'll get over it. Right? <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.